What is the definition of the perfect mouse? First and foremost is the price. At the very least, it should be affordable and accessible. Secondly, performance matters. When two people click the mouse simultaneously, it should respond without delay. Thirdly, a mouse that perfectly fits your hand. The more comfortable and ergonomic, the better. And if we were to add one more criterion, it would be aesthetics. Considering the recent surge in the domestic market, you can get a top-notch sensor under 60 USD, and with a few more bucks, you can upgrade to 4K resolution currently. Achieving both affordability and precision is quite feasible. Now let's talk about the grip. It's a vibrant field with countless options available. Symmetrical, large, small, ergonomic, and unconventional shapes. Many of them may appear similar at first glance, but which one suits you best? It requires more experimentation and testing on your part. Weight and material are also significant factors influencing your decision. However, I have a solution that takes your customization to the next level, and it costs only 10 USD, introducing the Pure White Angel, also known as White Clay. Don't be fooled by its unremarkable appearance, it can rectify any uncomfortable aspects of your mouse. For example, if the guide grooves of your F1 mouse are too deep, causing discomfort while clicking, you can apply a layer of clay to simulate your most comfortable hand position. Then gently remove the excess clay with a knife. You can even create shallow and deep grooves to perfectly fit your fingers. Maybe you, like me, have different pressure points for games like League of Legends and FPS. In that case, you can customize two sets of grooves. This way, you achieve a 100% perfect fit for your mouse. You can also design individual button covers for the left and right click buttons. It's really cool, isn't it? Now, let's discuss some techniques, for instance. Near the scroll wheel, you might want to create a slight slope by pressing the clay with your hand. This ensures more comfort while using the scroll wheel. However, it's advisable not to make it significantly higher than the original buttons. Moving on to the back of the mouse. If you find it too flat or lacking support, you can add some of the pure white angel clay and shape it according to your most comfortable grip. Feel it, squeeze it, mold it until it becomes just the way you like it. Once you've adjusted both the buttons and the back, place the mouse in a well-ventilated area to let it air dry. Naturally avoid direct sunlight as it might cause cracking. In hot weather, this process might take at least a day and a half. Also, it's recommended to use adhesive tape to cover the sensor position to protect it from dust and sand. When the time is right, gently assess its hardness with your hand. If it feels fine, you can slowly remove the clay and place adhesive tape on the back. Even if it's not entirely dry inside, handle it with care. Gentle pressure won't cause significant issues. Place the clay back in its original position, ensuring proper alignment with the backside of the mouse. This way, the mold is complete. Finally, the last step is to apply anti-slip adhesive tape. Since this is a DIY approach, you'll need to buy the tape separately. Why use adhesive tape? Because the material might become slippery like soap when your hand sweats. Of course, it can still be used that way if you prefer a more slippery feel. Okay. With this, your super comfortable mouse is ready. For added assurance, you can let it dry for another half day to ensure it's thoroughly dry. Considering the current weather conditions, two days of air drying should be sufficient for use. But don't rush to use it on the first day. It might not be fully ready. As some of you may have noticed, the backside of the mouse I'm using is different. It's smoother because I used resin to create an EC2 backside, covered it with glass foot pads, and slightly polished it. If you're using a hand-sculpted shape, you won't need to polish it. Remember not to place the clay all at once. Separate the front and back. Be careful not to get clay inside the gaps between the buttons. That's the only thing you need to watch out for. So with this method, you can create the backside you desire. Freedom and flexibility are incredibly high. You can customize it to your heart's content. Make it as comfortable as you like. The best part is that it costs only 10 USD. There are many clay options available on the market. I bought some with different brands and tested them. Some had higher moisture content, resulting in uneven patterns when dried. This was mainly in situations where I applied a thicker layer. Generally, when applied to a mouse, the thickness won't be that substantial. Using white clay reduces the likelihood of uneven patterns compared to black clay of the same brand. However, with the red clay that I used, now we have everything to achieve the perfect mouse, except for aesthetics. Lately, I've been watching a lot of David's videos. I noticed that the mouse has a bit of a renaissance vibe. Pure white angel completed. Now, let's us see the weight. Compared to the original weight, the modified one just increased the full grain, which is a separate increase. And about the hardness, because the moldy clay has enough rigidity, plus the hardness of the mouse itself, it provides sufficient strength for intensive use. Okay, this is the episode about clay modify of the gaming mouse. I hope you guys can try it. If you have any question, please leave the comment below. 
Next episode, I will tell you about、um, my opinion of the budget 3395 sensor mouse and 4K dongle and all product in China. And next one, I will tell you how to increase the 13% mouse bounce time. If you're interested, please subscribe. It. Okay, I'm Tian Tian. See you next time. Adios.